Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with more weirdness from Mars. In this one we're looking at uh, strange megalithic blocks or slabs strewn about in Ionia Terra and also a rather strange structure type anomaly and I found a couple of those in the past already as well so let's get cracking on. The high-rise photograph we're looking at here is called USGS Dune Database Entry 2579-573 It was acquired on the 18th of July 2020 at a nice high res of 26.8 centimeters per pixel. I'm showing images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. The photograph does have a little bit of graininess to it so when I zoom in on the artifacts they tend to break up a bit but you'll get the gist of what these artifacts look like. The site is located in this terrain of here yeah, just to the north of this weird dune field down here to the bottom left and we're looking at some of the anomalies over here in the top right hand part of the photograph. This site is located down in the southern mid latitudes of Mars, sort of in the center of a region called Ionia Terra. Coordinates 57.35 degrees south, 257.97 degrees east. We'll have a look at some of the other anomalies in the vicinity as well towards the end of the video. So there it is guys and girls, check that out. Another one of these structures with a little triangular opening in the front that there's about uh, 12 meters across and the opening is about 5 by 5 by 8 meters in size. Up close it looks like it consists of two slabs that have been placed next to one another. Look at this strange artifact sticking out of the entranceway there. And then in line with it we've got another block of here to the top left. There's some of the others that I found that are similar this one I found recently in Argaia Mons. Look at that opening there, guys. We've got a right angle there as well. And then this one has got multiple flat sides to it, like a pyramid almost. South of Douglas also has uh, right angles there at the opening. And then I uh, found this one west of Perry Pelkin. Look at that opening over there, guys and girls. It's got one, two, three, four, five sides to it. Very weird. Then uh, megalithic blocks, we'll have a look at that one. And this one over here. This is a very smooth, flat terrain. And then here and there we've got these megalithic blocks or slabs. There's another one down there. The bright one over there is about uh, 8 by 10 meters in size. It's straight edges, right angle there to the top, and then a small protrusion or knob over there through the center line of that block. And then this one over here to the left is about five meters long with a piece that's sticking out at the right angle over there. And as I say, although this is a high res photo, it seems to have uh, this grainy overlay to it. Don't know if that's an artifact of the camera at the time or whether this interference pattern was applied afterwards. Who knows? Get this very bright one over there guys. That's about 8 by 8 meters in size. So it's got a right angle to it. A very smooth bright surface as well. More blocks, we're looking at uh, these two, a little bit smaller. So now here to the right is about five by two and a half meters in size. Heavily eroded, but you can see the parallel sides and the right angles there. And then the one off to the left, partially buried, almost the same size, also has a right angle over there 
and it's got a uniform depth to it as well okay so let's go down to that site and have a look at those anomalies up close as well as some of the others in the vicinity so it's located right there in the middle of Ionia Terra so just a quick summary there's the anomalies we checked out the similar ones are listed as well and then those blocks was there a structure here that was devastated and all the blocks moved apart now let's have a look at the site to the top right and then we've got a little dome like feature I don't know what to make of this one it looks like it's maybe on a mast or a pole I don't think it's hovering there I've looked at another photograph that was taken uh, some time apart and that object is still there but uh, it's got a perfect circular shape to it it's about six meters in diameter and it's got a weird rectangular part on the top and it's in line with that ridge underneath it and we've got a folded over object over here find a couple of those on Mars as well and uh, I think this is from the other photograph that I analyzed yeah there it is a very blurry one indeed but you can see the object is still in the same location and the small rectangular part on the top is still aligned to that ridge underneath it and there's some of the other anomalies I've found there partial hexagonal object one two three four of the sides are visible slightly carved in over here like a step and it's got a small little cube lying there next to that ridge found lots of these partial hexagonal blocks on uh, Mars as well weird common design feature as well a weird part down here it looks like fossilized bone okay let's have a look at one other site check out the disc over there this uh, triangular block has a hole right there in its center uniform thickness or depth to it as well it also looks like a hole in the middle of that disc like a hatch over here to the left and these objects on top of uh, these blocks I don't know what to make of these I wonder if these could be dolmen type structures that have been erected on these uh, blocks or slabs to uh, be elevated above the sand with that strange u-shape there with the little sphere lying right there in that slot looks like a piece of sheet metal slightly bent up but look at that straight edge over there right angle to it as well and then these crescent shaped objects I found lots of them on Mars too two discs with domes on them in the same photograph this one's a little bit smaller it's in a opening over there this looks like it could have been an entrance way or maybe an opening to a structure who knows it looks like it's bent in look at the similarity between those two objects that's it for this one folks thank you for watching i hope you liked it do give it a huge thumbs up if you did if you haven't subscribed yet hit the subscribe button click the bell and click on all that way you'll know when i upload my next one thank you for watching do let me know in the comments below what you make of these let's have a chat over there and see if we can get to the bottom of these strange structures with uh, these triangular openings thank you for watching once again take care i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now